Hello, welcome to Amy Whitney's day four of the Simply Raw Detox video log. <laughs> um, today has been a magical day. I have been on top of the world most of the time. Um, and what a difference from day three. I didn't actually do a video log on day three because um, my ear infection was at the peak, my coffee withdrawal was at the peak, and I had to walk probably 20 kilometers in the rain. So by the time I got home that evening, I just wasn't able to even, <laughs> even function. Um, but this morning I woke up. It's, uh, what is it? It's the 4th, it's the 4th of um, May today. And um, I don't have any pain. I only thought about coffee maybe a few times and it was to think, gee, I don't ever really want to go back to drinking coffee. Um, I had moments of, I don't know if anyone else gets this, but where you get like um, a bubble of excitement or a bubble of laughter just kind of spontaneously burst out when you're in the middle of doing something else, uh, which is really, you know, it's been a while since I've had those. Um, and I just feel on top of the world. So um, all is good is what I can say. It's, uh, it's cruising along nicely. Um, when I was out walking today, I was, I was thinking <clears throat> about the detox process and I was thinking to myself, so everybody knows what a toxic food is or basically, you know, processed food, sugars, that sort of thing, white flour. And everybody, I assume, wants the best for themselves. They want to thrive. They want to be healthy. And I was contemplating why don't we always eat a raw living food diet? What is it that makes the human um, go for crap food? Is it the, the conditioning? Is it the media? Is it, what is it? And then I asked myself, like, why did it take me so long to do this Simply Raw Detox? I've had the book for, I don't know, probably almost a year actually. And, you know, you can't help but ask yourself, like, how would you feed your newborn baby? How, how would you look after something that you love so much? And it's really the clean food lifestyle. Um, and then you go, so do you love yourself enough to, to go through the detox process and then to incorporate the living food lifestyle or, you know, just a really clean diet into your life? Is it a question of how much do you care for yourself? Because it really is the ultimate act of caring for yourself, going through the detox process and, and, and living a really clean lifestyle. Um, it, it, you feel fantastic. Um, I'm only on day four, so I'm sure it's going to even get better. And, you know, mental clarity, just more even tempered, etc., etc. There's so many pluses to it. So, yeah, I was just pondering what stops people. And the reason that I was pondering that was because I can't tell you, every single person I've told that I'm on this detox or I'm doing a detox, they say, oh, I really need to do one. I had um, one of my dear friends today, I met her on the corner, we just like passing by on the corner of the street. And, um, and I said, oh, I'm doing the detox right now, da da da, telling her a little bit about it. And she's like, I would really love to do a detox. Did you know a detox that, um, that includes coffee? And it's, it's, it's such a fascinating topic for me. So I'm kind of raving on because um, I'm curious. I mean, if you know um, or if you have thoughts or um, ideas about what is it that keeps the majority of us, you know, eating fast food, eating processed food, eating sugar. Sugar, I remember studying 20 years ago. Sugar is called white death. And so many of us fill our day with it, maybe not like taking complete tablespoons into our coffee or something like that, but we, you know, so many processed foods are filled with sugar. What is it that, what is it within us that allows us to poison ourselves? You know, I, 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 can't, I can't quite answer that because really I, I feel like I love myself quite a lot. I feel like I'm you know, I try to care for myself, but I really fell off the wagon for a while there with um, with eating a clean diet. 
So today I'm just going to leave you with a question um, and, and, and see if anyone has any ideas. If people understand how important clean living is, a clean diet, um, what is it that stops us all from doing it? So hope to hear from you and I hope to do a post tomorrow as well. Much love and many blessings.